Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the Honeywell Home Pro Series Pro A7 and Pro A7 Plus panels and getting the actual Pro Series smoke detector, which is Pro 6 Smoke V, programmed into the actual panel itself. Uh, not very difficult. This device actually has two different types that it enrolls in. It'll, it'll be a smoke and it'll be a heat. And I'll show you how to do both in this video. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go ahead and get into programming. Now, before you go any further here, you need to make sure that you have had your firmware update done to this panel in order for on-site local programming to be enabled. If you have not had your firmware done, uh, then chances are you're not gonna be able to do this because this panel comes factory, well, at, at least it has up to this point, come factory not being able to be programmed locally. It requires a firmware update. Make sure you get that firmware update. Once that firmware update's done, you'll be able to continue to the point that we're about to do now. So, we're gonna get into this, uh, this, this uh, menu here. We'll go back and we'll start over. So we'll hit the menu button, scroll down, go to tools. You're gonna enter your installer code, minus 4112, which is the factory installer code. We're gonna go into programming. Now at this point, you're gonna go ahead and get into peripherals. You're gonna hit the plus sign. It's gonna put itself into enrollment mode. What I've done is I've already popped my battery tabs off of this thing. Uh, this actually goes in between the batteries. I took this off. So what I'm gonna do to enroll this is I'm just gonna tamper it. And uh, last time I tried it, it was actually two tampers that it took in order to do it. And then we'll let it sit. It should enroll here momentarily. Once it gets in there and it's good to go, then we can go ahead and enroll it as both a smoke and a heat detector, um, which is pretty neat because this, this is essentially a combo device without even really bragging about it. So there it is, it learned in after my two tampers. We're gonna go ahead and go through and make sure that all this stuff is set up the way that we want it. So uh, if you scroll down here, it, it is touch screen, so you can kind of move it around here. So you'll see here, zone one, it is set up as a smoke. I'm gonna leave it set up as a smoke. And then we're gonna go ahead and label where it is. So I'm gonna say that this is in my living room. So we'll type in living and then living room populates. You can just go ahead and press that button. You don't need to put in smoke. It'll automatically say that that's already programmed in. So we'll scroll down. We'll make sure that it's set up the way that we want. We do like fire with no verification, which means if smoke goes off, they're just gonna roll. If you want them to call you prior to rolling the police, or I mean the uh, fire department, go ahead and hit fire with verification. That means that we're gonna call you, reach out, just to make sure everything's okay before we dispatch. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just set it fire with verification because I do want them to call me in the event that something like this happens. Um, we do want it supervised because we do wanna know if this device has any issues with battery or supervision or anything like that. Um, and then we do want the alarm report. Uh, this means that it's gonna send its signal to our central station and we will verify it. And uh, the one go, all go feature means if one smoke goes, all the rest of the smokes will hear it going and will also go into an alarm mode as well. Uh, it's just a good way for the whole house to know that there is actually something going on. I love that feature. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that there. Uh, what we're gonna do now that uh, we have our smoke program correctly, we're gonna scroll back up to get the heat programmed in here. You'll see a section that says service. You'll go ahead and hit add there. It'll save what we've done with the smoke already. So now you are programming the heat. It's on an entirely different zone here. So as you can see, it already is labeled living room. The service is heat. The device type is heat. This is fire, no verification. Once again, I, I, I want them to verify, uh, but uh, it's already set to smoke. So on this one, it doesn't actually allow me to change it. Uh, but. Um, we do want it supervised. We do want it to report. The chime isn't required here because this isn't the type of device that you want chiming. And the one go all go feature of course is enabled because we do want them all to go at the same time. I'm gonna go ahead and click save now. Now, you'll see that there is two separate devices programmed in here. You'll see the smoke and you'll see the heat. We'll go ahead and we'll hit save to lock it in there. We now have zone one, living room smoke, and then zone two, living room heat. This is a combo device, so you have a smoke and heat detection uh, device now. Uh, that is how you get this programmed in. What I'll do is I'll just go ahead and I'll get us out of programming and I'll tamper this to show you guys that this device is actually being uh, monitored here. So there's our tamper. We'll go ahead and put that back on. Go ahead and clear that out. Okay. Ready to arm. Disarmed. Ready to arm. 
This thing is programmed in and it is ready to sense smoke and heat. If you guys have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. But that is how you program in the Pro 6 Smoke V into the Honeywell Home Pro Series Pro A7 or Pro A7 Plus panels. Take care, have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the Show More tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.